hey guys so let us start this new chapter which is array and let's straight jump into it uh, what is array it is the collection of similar data type reference under the same name uh, so i'll explain you this definition when we are like doing some problems and you'll later understand it what does this mean okay so let's talk about need for arrays okay so let me open some <laughs> i'll just get rid of it suppose that you have 50 students in a class okay now you conducted some tests and now you want to store the marks obtained by them each one of them in a like variables or in a program okay so what you'll do you'll create 50 variable a1 a2 a3 so on till a50 then in order to accept those value what you'll do you'll write c in a1 a2 so on till a50 and to display those value you'll again use c out using cascading you'll display a1 a2 so on till a50 now you can see that this process consume a lot of time that is a lot of typing is required and second thing is that you can produce a lot of errors suppose that you forgot to take the data of the student 33 so many problems can occur so in order to overcome this we use arrays so just uh, if you want to replace this line uh, using arrays how you will do you will write int you can give any name for example let's say arr and within square brackets you will specify the size of the array followed by a semicolon so what does this statement do in in this statement you are creating 50 different location right 50 different locations this is a1 a2 a3 a4 so on till if a50 but when you use array what will happen a 50 blocks of memory will be reserved or created contiguous which means that uh, there is no gap in between okay so this is 0 1 2 3 so on till 49 okay so and let's move on to the definition of array it it said that uh, it said that uh, arrays is a collection of similar data types so in this case all these blocks 0 1 2 and uh, so on till 49 belong to the type integer okay it's not that in between you will have a data type of character that's wrong okay which is referenced under same name so these all 49 blocks are referenced under same name uh, in this example we have given it as array okay so types of array there are two type one dimensional and multi-dimensional and note that two dimensional array is the simplest form of multi dimensional arrays now how to declare one dimensional array so the syntax of how to declare one dimensional arrays is date you first specify the data type then name and within square brackets you write the size of the array followed by a semicolon okay so in like previously in the drawing i showed you how to write int a r r and size was 50 so uh, when it come when you uh, when we talk about integers how do you put something into the uh, into the variable you use c in and the name of the variable and similarly to display you use c out but in case of arrays we use loops to put data into the one dimensional array and specially for loops are used you can even do with uh, using while and do while uh, and 
how to display element of one dimensional array so we use loops to display data present in the array okay so in both the cases if you want to put something into the array and if you want to display the data or the information present in the array we use loops so let us uh, write a program uh, to in order to understand these above concepts and definition uh, properly so write a program to create a one dimensional integer array and feed some number in the array and display the content back to the screen so let us open turbo c++ so let me increase uh, make it full screen so we need just two header file iostream.h and we'll include conio.h so why are we including conio to use the functionality clear screen clr scr function and get ch function get ch stand for get character and we are using iostream for c in comma c out okay functionality now what are header file these are pre-processor directories or libraries void main and open the curly brace for the main and we'll write clear screen from here we'll declare a one dimensional array int arr of let's say the size is 5 okay so what is this called this is called dict declaration of one dimensional array now what we need to do we need to put some numbers into the data so we'll display a message enter the number in the array and after that we'll accept them so in order to accept them we need a we need a for loop with initial expression int i is equal to 0 i less than 4 i plus plus now the curly brace for for loop and we'll write c in a of i now again we'll display a message on the monitor uh, numbers present in the array are and we again need a for loop uh, we don't need to declare extra variable we'll just write i is equal to 0 i less than 4 i plus plus open the curly brace for the 4 and within this for loop we'll write c out arr sorry instead of a you need to write arr arr of i and we'll give some space as well so that the output looks good now that's it and we need to end this by get ch okay so let's compile zero errors let's run the program so enter the numbers in the array so let us enter some numbers 7, 6, 5, 4. So the number present in the array are. Oh, sorry, guys, instead of 4, we need 5 here. Same here, 5. So let's compile it 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this is the output so I'll explain you guys how this program is working
now you know that we are in the first for loop we have so we have written int a r r of 5 right so a location or an array will be created with five blocks one two three four and five so the number starts from zero numbering in computer science starts from zero so this is the zeroth first second third and fourth block okay so if you'll count this this is nothing but totally uh, total number of blocks present in the area is five so now in the for loop we have i is equal to zero and the condition is zero less than five which is true so within the loop we have written c in a r r of i what is the value of i zero so whenever you enter some number it will be stored in array of zero array of zero is this one suppose 57 then we'll increment the value of i so i will become one so now i will execute with value one one less than five which is true in the body we have written c in array of what is the value of i it is one so array of one correspond to this block okay so whatever you'll enter it will be stored in array of one suppose two will be stored in array of one now i will be incremented i plus plus two two now i is equal to two two less than five which is true okay so in the body we have c in array of i what is the value of i it is two so whatever you'll enter it will be stored in array of two this block suppose hundred now i will be incremented to three i is equal to three three less than five which is true and it will enter inside the body and within the body we have array of three so whatever you will enter will get inside this so suppose minus five now i will be incremented to 4 i is equal to 4 4 less than 5 which is true c in array of 4 so array of 4 correspond to this particular block and suppose the user entered the number as 13 okay now i will get incremented to 5 now i is equal to 5 is 5 less than 5 which is false because 5 is equal to 5 right so now this for loop will break and the compiler will move on to the next line which is enter uh, the number present in the array is and then again the for loop will start executing with initial expression i is equal to zero so now you know why we have this uh, initial expression less than five because how many uh, in array the numbering of the block starts from zero zero to four now array or uh, the size of this array is five so that is the reason why we keep the test expression less than the size okay because the numbering starts from 0 now i is equal to 0 is 0 less than 5 which is true so we have written c out array of i what is the value of i it is 0 with some space so considering this as our output screen so what is stored in array of 0 it is 57 so 57 gets displayed followed by some space 
then i is incremented to 1 1 uh, i is equal to 1 1 less than 5 which is true so c out array of i and the value of i is 1 and within array of 1 we have 2 so 2 will be displayed along with some space now so on similarly the value 100 minus 5 and 13 would also get displayed so I hope you are now familiar uh, understood how to declare an array how to put something in the array and how to display the content back to the screen so I'll see you guys in my next video